I've never been a morning person. There is no way I'm waking up earlier. Trust me, I've said those things too. <laughs> waking up early is not the easiest thing, which is why I'm gonna give you all my tips and tricks to slowly become a morning person. To me, the key to my morning is actually the night before, because this is what is actually gonna set you up for success. First, I like putting a glass of water and also probiotic to take on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. Then letting some natural sunlight in. This is essential as sunlight regulates your circadian rhythms and affects your mood and energy levels. Another way to avoid that is making your bed right away, also setting a productive tone to the day. The night before, I also put my workout clothes on the side of my bed. This makes it so much easier for my brain and less likely for me to forget and skip. And that goes for every activity that you want to prioritize. Make it unavoidable. The way I move my body has evolved throughout the years, but one consistent thing is that I love movement. This is my ultimate self-care moment of the day and makes me energized like nothing else. These days, I focus more on slow, low-intensity movement as it helps balancing hormones. I can make a video about that if that's something that would interest you. Of course, I do yoga, but I've also started incorporating Pilates more and more. After my workout and before I get ready, I start prepping my morning tea, which is simply boiling some ginger and serving it with lemon. I let it boil around 10 minutes and it's the perfect thing to wake up and kick start my digestion in the morning. The way I get ready is pretty minimalist. I take my shower and do my skincare, which is a serum, a moisturizer, and then facial gua sha. You can look online for tutorials, but it's essentially a lymphatic massage that helps to reduce tensions in your face and over time reduces wrinkles as well. Also applying sunscreen every single day. When I get out of my shower, my tea is ready to serve. Adding in turmeric for all its anti-inflammatory benefits and I'm bringing it over with me to my couch for my meditation and visualization. My visualization and meditation practice depends on the day but I usually meditate and visualize for around 10 minutes. I always follow a guided audio. You can find plenty of them on Spotify and I finish by visualizing some of my dreams and the way I would feel if they were currently happening. I then journal, which again depends on the day, but I mostly use the 5 minute journal to start the day focusing on uplifting thoughts. I read 10 pages of a book afterwards. Um, I alternate between novels and personal development books. Another habit that I've started incorporating lately is making a juice or a smoothie in the morning. I put as many greens uh, as I can possibly <laughs> squeeze in there, as you can see. I prioritize some that I don't consume on a regular basis. Having lots of nutrients than foods in the morning uh, is always making me feel so much energized throughout the day. So I slowly drink that and this is usually the moment I turn on my phone. I try as much as possible to not turn it on before that moment to keep a clear, calm mind in the morning. That helps a lot with feeling less anxious as well. And you guessed it, breakfast time. I've never been too much into breakfast actually, but I'm trying as much as possible to take the time to prepare a nourishing breakfast in the morning. And if you don't have the time in the morning, it doesn't have to be complicated and it can be 
prepared the day before. My morning is all about making things easy for myself and it revolves around a few activities that I do for a few minutes each so that it doesn't seem like a chore. This is crucial as you want to actually go to bed the night before feeling excited for your routine. That way you're less likely to snooze your alarm. So take a piece of paper and write down three to five activities that you enjoy and that making every morning would light up your soul. It's basically like writing down a plan of action. And you don't have to start big. You can start by waking up just 10 minutes before and do two activities. When you'll see the benefits it has on the rest of your day, you'll probably want to add more. Then after my breakfast, that's the moment that I plan my day and I write a few things that I know I have to do either for social media or even like for my work. And after that, I would turn on my computer. Today I'm working from home, as you can see. And I'll start for the day at my full-time 9 to 6 job. And I hope this video inspired you and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like it.